Hi everyone, so now we will learn that how we can test JSON server API with the postman. So mainly there we learn two things. Firstly, how to use postman. After that, uh, you will also get to know that how JSON APIs will work and how we can uh, just put the data in JSON server through API, delete, update, get the data, everything. All right. So first of all, we will install our postman. After that, I'll tell you what are the important methods uh, name in APIs. After that, we will uh, fetch the data with the help of get api method store data with the help of post api method update data with the put api method and at last we will delete the data with the help of delete api method all right so uh, now let me start with the installing of postman so you can use you can install postman with the two way first one you can install your operating system application like uh, exe file for uh, windows application Otherwise, you can install the Chrome extension. That is the, I think, better way because this is lightweight and uh, you don't need to have to install uh, application in your system also. All right. So just simply open the Chrome tab and put there Postman Chrome. And first link you will find chrome.google.com, uh, something like this. And you can just click over there. After that, there will be an option to add app to Chrome, something like this. So here it is. So once we will click over there, uh, then application will be just uh, getting downloaded and installed in your uh, uh, Chrome app, app store, right? So after that, you will uh, able to search in the Windows application also because uh, this is basically a progressive web application. So you can just directly open it with the Chrome as well as in the your uh, operating system also. And now here you can see that this is the postman application or you will just get uh, if you will just refresh it or otherwise you will directly get an option to launch application right you can launch from there otherwise you can uh, just uh, enter that URL and you can just uh, find the postman application there and third thing is you can just search in the windows application postman like this and you can use that one also right you can use any one of them and I'm just opening the postman application right and to test your application what we need to do we have to run our json server that we installed in the last video i hope uh, you already seen the last video if you, you did not watch then i'll recommend you to watch that one because to use the json server api first we have to install that server all right so let me just open the desktop uh, and api folder because there we just put a db.json file right so let me just open this with the uh, VS code so that we can check the uh, APIs and all like how data is just installing, getting and updating and all. And with that, let's uh, in the same folder, just simply run there one more command, which is, uh, which is a start our uh, JSON server. So just simply put there JSON server minus minus watch db dot json and after that you can check this is working or not on the port 3000 so let me just open port 3000 there here you can this is working fine and in last uh, part we created a simple api with the users here you can see that right so uh, we will just uh, remove all of these data and we will just create the a page from scratch all right and after that if you want to just uh, read the documentation then this is the link of the uh, json server documentation right so let me just open the vs code i am removing the old code from there i don't need it this at all because uh, that is the previous code i just wanted to code from the scratch so now you can see that there is a no data even maybe okay i think this is no just getting updated i think data was actually deleted but uh, i think we have to just restart this server so that it can just update the data right and now we will check there is a no data at all perfect okay so firstly we need some data if you want to get there uh, if you want to just get a list 
so i will recommend to just use the post api first so that uh, we can get the data there right so uh, this is our postman we don't need to just uh, create the account there you can remove it directly just close all the pop up and in the new tab to store the data we can just use the post method this is the way that we can use the post method and get post put patch delete these are the five most important type of uh, uh, method in uh, apis otherwise these all all are not much important all right after that let's put the url and one more thing we have to at least provide the api key right so i am just simply using the users key like this and that should be a empty array now the api will work right so uh, url of uh, our uh, json server and which and where in which api we want to put the data we want to put the data in the user service right this is the user service or you can say that the api api and service both are the same thing now just go to the body section there is the option of row just select the post and you can enter any data so i am just putting there let's say name it could be peter after that age it could be let's say 30 and email it could be abc uh, peter at the rate test.com now we can store it like this and here we go here you can see that uh, just after sending the data one record is created and status 201 status means the, the, there is something created with the help of post api and here we go id is auto generated so don't worry about that so now can we use the get api also yes definitely just select the get option from there put this and here you can see that we have the fun record all right that we just stored so now let's try to add another one so i am just adding with the name of anil age is let's say 29 not 9 that is small so now we can say that uh, anil at the rate test.com right and we need definitely a comma also there store it you can see that again we got 201 and uh, let's see if you just want to again getting the data then all data will be get there the, the both records are there let's try with the last one let's say last one is Bhaskar age is let's say 25 not 5 yeah and uh, Bhaskar at the rate test.com. Let me just store it. And this is the 201. Again, all three records are created there. So, this is the now our get API to all, get all record. This is our post API. So, now let's say you want to get a single record. Then, how you can get? You can get with the help of ID. Let's say you want to get the result with the ID 2. Then, how you can do that? Open the new tab. Again, just select the post and the id let's say i just want to get the data with the id 2 and here we go now we have the data only for the record 2 perfect okay so how many apis we tested we tested the get api post api now we can test the uh, put apis put means we we just want to update something right so just come back open the new tab select the put and uh, the api url like this go to the body and to just store the just save the time let's say just uh, get the all this record right or uh, any let's say you want to update uh, the third one record here you want to update the id and email right and if you want to update so just copy this data so that we can just save them some time right and put the id like which id you want to update we want to update the id 3 right here you can see that id3 so just put the id3 there and again just go to the body row select the json type paste this and let's say update the age that could be let's say 35 and bhaskar1 at the rate test.com send it and if you got the 200 that means record is perfectly updated here you can see that the age and email id is updated great now let's say you want to delete some data and uh, 
maybe let's say you want to delete the id with the record to right then how we can do that just come back there select the delete option there and uh, you don't need to just uh, put all the data just simply put the id let's say we want to delete the data with the id 2 right and just select the delete method there send and here we go we again get 200 okay that means uh, work is done and now we have only two records so with that way we can uh, just use the postman and all so in next part we will use all of these method get post put post delete all these method even search also uh, with react native in the upcoming part so thank you so much for watching this video and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video and share your feedback in comment section this is my ptm donation number thank you